Hello and welcome back to Night in the Woods with me, Barden. Right, so let's check this out. Yeah, where's it gone? Ah, there. Okay. So, that's it. That's the other mural. Dot, dot, dot. It's so... Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, the only thing back here that survived of that. Dot dot dot. I just think it's nice that it's not gone. Yeah, I guess. Forgotten maybe, but not gone. Well, not forgotten yet. I wonder if in like 500 years, some archaeologists will find it. I wonder what it meant. Sometimes I think in 50 years no one will know what it meant. Places can't control how they're remembered. They just hang out and then fall apart. Interesting. You okay, May? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm just gonna look for a minute. Take your time. Ah, oh, poor Elmi. Oh, we're back in the boat. Okay. Thanks for joining me. That was great. I could totally do this as a job. Oh no, a competitor. I'm going to get me a boat and go find some trash and sell it to rich dorks. That's the spirit. Take care. You too. Good luck. That was really fun. See ya. Okay. The teenager should... Oh, teenagers aren't here, okay. Now, I wonder if that counted as the thing we could do for the day, or if we can do something else. I suppose we can do something else, because otherwise we would have ended up at home rather than here. Do you have anything to say? No? Okay, so off we go. I'd love to talk to that guy in there, though, sometime. Why can't we talk to you, buddy? Are you in quarantine or something? Did you give everyone food poisoning and that's why no one's coming down here? Okay, let's head up to the church. Got the church and then the um, homeless guy as well. And we get to talk to mom again if we go up here as well. Maybe. But well, let's go in and see. Do, 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 do. Let's just skip that for a second. Haha! -ha. Hey, mom. Hey! Oh, sorry. Hey, you free? Maybe. Want to go on a quick adventure? With mom? Of course I do. Don't you have a job? Pastor's gone. I'm going to skip out. Oh! Oh, yeah! Let's skip work. Only I'm skipping work, hon. Oh, hush. I'm an accessory to the crime. Also, not a crime, sweetie. Well, it's going to be fun anyway. Woohoo! I don't think I've ever been up here. We used to come here all the time. Did we? No, we as in my friends and I when we were your age. Oh, okay. I'm not used to you using another wheeze, any other wheeze. Believe it or not, I've had several wheeze. Huh? Oh, where you going, Mom? Woohoo! This is nice. Used to be a lot more trees up here. They got cut down when they put in the towers. I don't remember that. You know, all kinds of things happen before you were born. 
What? Some minor parts of history took place. Yes. Okay, let's keep going. Woohoo! Woohoo! <gasps> so, what is this place? Jenny's Field. Ever heard of it? No, I don't think. Back in the 30s, there was this woman and her daughter walking here, and the woman's daughter is in front of her. And then she's just gone, like disappeared. What happened? Turns out there was a sinkhole that opened up when a pillar collapsed in the mines in the hill. Jeez. Yep. Sorry. Yep. No one could see it because of the grass. Her name was Jenny. This is Jenny's field. They never found her. Just... Gone. So, wait. Why are we here? What? You not up for a little risk taking? Dot dot dot. Ah! What's wrong? I thought it was a sinkhole thing. Hmm. How about that? Dot dot dot. Uh, what the hell? Oh, it's just a divot. Okay. Oh, here's one of the towers. Okay, what is that? It looks like a smokestack. For some reason, before Unified pulled out, they brought this old lime furnace up on the mountain. Why? Who knows? Unified did a lot of things. Looks like it's been here forever. It's just sunk into the ground a lot. Like Jenny. But slower. <laughs> I don't have my own just... You know, whenever May says something really creepy, she just makes it even better. <laughs> we used to climb up there. Wanna try? <laughs> oh, sweetie. I had you and also a lot of birthdays and donuts since then. And not much climbing. Does that mean we can't try? Oh, yes, I can try. Woohoo! Look at me, Mom! Oh! Woohoo! I did it! So, uh. Good thing this chimney is sealed up here. <laughs> yes, good thing. What can you see up there? It's been a while. Uh. Possum Springs and most of the valley. And the highway. What does it look like? Yeah, May wouldn't say that. She'd say this one. Like someone dumped out some blocks. Haha. <laughs> Sounds about right. I remember I couldn't tell if being up there made everything feel bigger or smaller. It's a weird feeling. Yeah, I know that one. I used to have a dream when I was your age. Where I was in the big parking lot out by the tracks. And I'd start running, but there was always more parking lot. Hmm. What do you think it meant? I don't know. Feels weird to tell you what your dream dreams mean. Why? You're my mom. Dot dot dot. Fair. Why did we come up here today? Well, I was hoping you'd fall into a sinkhole, obviously. That didn't work out. Drat. Guess I'll just have to keep you. 
I couldn't see what your expression was when you said that. Do you need to? No. Well, see you at home. Hey! Hey, wait, wait. Okay. Well, let's go back in. I don't want to talk to mom, but I want to talk to the pastor, maybe. Well, let's see if mom has anything to say first. No, okay. No problem, mom. We still had fun with you. Now, let's head on down here. Okay, love and peace. Okay, nothing else. So where exactly is the basement? So that's into the main hall. There's mom. We never went through here, ever. What the? Oh my god. Let me, let me. No, let me in. What the? Why can't we go in there? Ah! Oh, I hate when I can't go somewhere I want to go. Well, let's get outside and maybe talk to the homeless chap. And then we have to um, go do something about, what was it? Um, oh, or anything new on here? Pastor KW Young? No, same. Transform, trans, Transarm Youth Ministry. Okay, let's talk to this chap. Getting kind of cold, huh? Yeah, nip in the air at night. I like fall when it gets cold. Me too, really pretty out as well. I used to cry at fall trees when I was a kid. Why? Because they were so pretty. Hmm. I did that when my daughter was born. You have a daughter? Yep. Where is she? Dot dot dot. Sorry. Fine. Okay. Guess we're done talking to you. Now are these crazy kids over here again? Hey, crazy kids are coming to say hi. <gasps> Look. Look who it is. We'll come back to you in a second. What the hell are you doing there anyway? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Let's have a chat with you. What the hell are you doing out here? Oh, what the, is that a, like a crossbow or something you got? Hey, Jen. Hey, May Borowski. I thought it was um, our buddy. What's his name? Oh, it's Slip my mind. Yeah? What are you doing back here? Yeah, Greg. It's Greg's sister, I guess. Does Greg know you're back? No, just here for a day. Had to pick some stuff up from Greg's mom. Haul him back to school tonight. Ah. Uh, didn't you go to school? What are you doing here? Or what are you doing here? Dropped out, kinda. Oh, sorry to hear that. Uh, whatever. What are you, what are you going for? I want to do fashion design. Is that a job you can get? Theoretically. You still go crossbow hunting? Greg used to have a crossbow too, I think. Yeah, I still hunt rabbits and stuff. Nothing big. Don't get much chance at school. I was shooting at that tree over there. I can see. Then I noticed there was a dude sleeping behind it. <laughs> so I stopped. Oh yeah, that's Bruce. He's nice. 
Well, I'm just glad I didn't accidentally put a bolt in his face. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad. Oh, she said the same thing. Oh yeah, that'd be bad. Well, it was nice seeing you. You still see Greg sometimes, every bloody day. Oh yeah, all the time. Well, tell that cousin of mine he needs to come see me out in Bright Harbor. Sure thing. See ya. Take it easy. Okay. That's cool. Greg's cousin. See you, Bruce. Okay, so we'll go see the our three buddies at work, I guess. And then one of them is taking us somewhere today, aren't they? Oh, what's going on here? Coffee and cigarettes, I guess. head in here. Hey bae! Hey bae! <laughs> hey May. I think I'm gonna burn this place down. Oh cool! But also, maybe it might have consequences? We could take them the insurance money and like not do this. What if you get caught? I saw a show where they caught someone doing that. Dot dot dot. You're going to burn this place down for me. Oh cool. But also, maybe I'd go to jail? No, you have no motive. No one would suspect. So, work's not going well. Ah. Okay, I'll actually do it. Please don't actually do it. Okay, fine. Did you want to check out the graveyard? Yes. We want to go to the graveyard. Actually, yeah, let's do it. Oh, the graveyard. Let's go. Woohoo! Ooh, already looking spooky. Foggy. Always got that evening fall fog. Collects between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know. Good spooky. I get really sad because it's not here year round. Okay, on we go. I love how she's always smoking. Well, there's a statue. Oh, also spooky. I thought you were like, actually kind of afraid. I mean, I am, but like, whatever. So, we wait here? Yeah. And a ghost will show up. Dot dot dot. This isn't dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm along for the ride. Okay, oh. No any ghost stories? Not off the top of my head. Okay, what's scary? Uh, things are like monumentally screwed right now and no one in power gives a shit or they're actively making it worse out of spite or profit whoa jeez I meant like a skeleton or something <laughs> oh right sorry 
Okay, okay, okay. We'll have a spook off. I say something and you make it spookier. All right. How about this? A skeleton outside your window. A regular stranger person outside your window. He's smiling. And he's from the bank. Oh, come on. He's here to tell you they're going to take your house. This is just depressing. And he's a zombie. Okay, fine, that works. Zombie bank guy. All the things you're afraid of are boring. The scariest stuff is like really, really boring. Oh my God, Beatrice. What were we supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something. This is dumb. Let's go. No, because something's about to happen. What? Oh, hang on. I'm going to go visit my mom. She's right down there. Oh, okay. Give me a minute or two, okay? Sure, we'll give you a minute or two and then something spooky will happen and you won't believe us when we tell you. Okay. Totally no problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? About your mom and all. It's okay. It happens. Cool, cool, cool. I'll check out some graves. Alrighty. I took a class on death and dying. When I couldn't get into the dinosaur class back at school. <laughs> the dinosaur class. Jesus. It's like something I actually know about. Cool. I'll meet you back up here then. Let's check out a grave or three. Okay. Let's go. Hang on, you're supposed to be going to visit your mom. But we'll come back to you later. Yeah, the Friday the 13th type music isn't uh, very reassuring, let's see. Oh, we can look at this one, okay. Rose age 95 years. Okay. Hmm. Standard headstone, nothing fancy. Clearly religious. 95 years, wow. When she was born, the most high tech thing was horses. She had to like look out the window to see a horse. And now we have like pictures of horses on the internet. <laughs> like any horse you can think of. She saw us from horses to the internet. She saw us from horses to internet horses. Decent run. <laughs> okay. Oh, here's another one. Catching fish taken by flu. 14 years old. Oh, dang. Lived like 14 years. That's not enough time. Probably never said anything anyone could understand. You should get off at least one good sentence in life. Yeah, and I botched that one. <laughs> Hey. Evening. Evening. Watch out. 
Watch up there, bad. Looking for a ghost while my friend visits her mom's grave. Ah, she's visiting her grave. Okay. Oh yeah, cause I'm idiot. Her mom is dead. I thought her mom was in the asylum or something. You? I'm the grave. Sir, what kind of voice will? Uh, what kind of voice should this guy have? Can I give him the same voice as everyone else that we've done today? Uh, let me think. Mm, doo -doo. I'm the grave digger, groundskeeper. What have you? Can we talk shop for a sec? Shoot! Do you get spooked out here at all by your lonesome? Nah, I work here. Tend to take the spook out of the place. This job pay well? You thinking about digging graves? Depends on the pay. Not much. Oh. I'm a wedding DJ on the side. Friggin' sweet. I will rock you hard. Sounds great, my man. Well, see ya. Good luck finding your ghost. Thank you. Okay, so where, oh, here's the third grave. Brad Bosun, bicycle, okay. Oh, fancy. This guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess. He crashed his bike, he was hit by a bike. He loved he loved his bike. He loved it so hard, he smooched it so right. What? Jeez bae. How long does a mom visit take? Tick tock, Beatrice. We got places to be. What? Holy crap. I'm a jerk. Yes, you are. You're such a jerk. Okay, let's go say hi to Bay anyway. Hey, statue, do something crazy. Oh, there's Bay now. Hey! Uh. How'd it go? Fine. She's still there. Were you worried that... You know how we've been having sinkhole problems in town? Yes. That's what was wrong with your street. Anyway, my mom's buried in a pretty low spot. Couldn't afford the hill. So I was worried. Like, you're worried the ground's just gonna, like, cave in? What part of sinkhole is difficult to understand? We're, we're in a graveyard. They shouldn't make these where sinkholes are a problem. Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood. And yet, here we are. Okay, you ready? You know, when I was down there, I think I heard music from the top of the hill. And like, voices. Huh? That's, uh, spooky. Yeah, not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out. You coming? Oh yeah, sure. So, where are we going? Oh, is it this hill? Yeah, because you can go on here now. Cool. I bet you it's just kids mucking about. Kids being kids. Okay, so we have to go here. Oh, no, apparently we don't have to go there. Ooh, wow. Red sky at night, shepherd's delight. Red sky in the morning, shepherd's warning. Are you guys shepherds? Ho, oh, weary travelers! You seek answers among the dead! 
but they shall give you none. <laughs> oh wow. Hey guys. Do you know these kids? Haha, <laughs> yeah, we've met. What are y'all doing? Okay, so... We are keeping... We are the keepers of the gates. There's a literal gate you're sitting in front of. We govern who shall pass. And who shall remain. Alright, well... Answer us these questions. Truthfully. What? And you may pass into the realm of the dead. Okay, okay, fine, whatever. Get on with it. First question. Have you ever done it? You can just call it sex. We're grown-ups here. Well, we are at least. Answer. Yes. It was fantastic. Really? No, I'm very much lying. Oh, okay. And you? Yeah. What? When? Summer before 11th grade. Really? How did I not know this? This was when you weren't talking to me. Who? Who did this happen with? Uh, you don't know him. It was a math camp. Math camp? What is math camp? You go and do like math stuff. And camp stuff. And apparently you have lots of sex. It wasn't good. Top notch math though. <laughs> this is boring. Next question. Jeez, fine. Describe your dream date. They, these are the stupidest questions. Yeah, don't you want to ask something like spooky at least? Dream date. Okay, fine. Uh, he'd be tall, dress cool, really smart, likes good music, and we go to the movies. Boring. You? Wrestling. Like you're gonna wrestle or you're gonna like watch wrestling? We go to see wrestling. Yeah, that buys. Yeah, they buy us tickets. They? Guy or gal, I'm not picky. And we drive out to Hucklesburg to the convention center. And we'd watch Unstoppable Hayseed versus the Impending Kronk and eat corn dogs. Oof, I could eat a corn dog right now. I don't watch wrestling. I do. It's great. Nobody cares. What do you want from me? Next question. What is your most embarrassing experience? What? Just go with it. Answer. One time I... F <laughs> One time I farted in front of the class. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's it. What were you expecting? Okay, that sucked. Now, you go. Uh, oh god.
One time in high school, I went to prom with this guy, Cole. Oh wow, I've been wanting this story for years. And it was awkward, and I had to wear a dress. And I couldn't slow dance. And he was really nice and stuff, I guess. And I tried to kiss him. But somehow I screwed it up and drew blood. You bit him? How bad did you mess up this kiss? I have no idea, but he was bleeding a lot. So I like rushed him to the bathroom to get paper towels. So I'm shoving these paper towels into his mouth and I overdo it and he starts choking and f like fighting back. And I'm like chowing down on candy almonds. From where? I stole them from the tables and shoved them down my dress. What the? So I'm like plowing through these almonds and one gets caught in my throat. Poor Cole has to like, has like slumped against the bathroom wall. I try to give myself the Heimlich maneuver. How can you give yourself the Heimlich maneuver? And it works, but, but I puke all over Cole. Oh God. Chicken cordon bleu. Ah, oh, sorry, chicken cordon bleu. This is amazing. Right then, someone walks in and sees Cole dazed and bleeding and choking and me puking into the sink. So I pull all the paper towels out of Cole's mouth. And for some reason, I think to flush them down the toilet. And that makes it overflow. So I grab Cole and pull them out of the bathroom. Bud was covered in puke and blood and toilet water. And he ran away and left. And it was my ride. How did you get home? That kid Josh who rode his tractor to prom. So we're slowly driving to my house. Cars slow, slowing down and honking. While I'm on the back crying my eyes out. <laughs> that was seriously messed up. May I... Uh, Oh, sorry. May I... I... I have nightmares about it, like, once a week. I'm gonna have nightmares about it. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna have nightmares about it. Dot, dot, dot. Can we pass now? Yeah, nobody's gonna top that. You've come face to face with your lowest moment. You may pass unburdened. Unburdened? Yeah, for real. Okay, let us pass already. The power to pass was in your hands all along. What? What the effing hell? You may go. God damn it. Go to hell, teens. Ha ha ha. <laughs> I hate everything right now. Forget it. Let's go. Okay, and I think let's go for now is basically let's end the episode because we are running over time. But if you ha did enjoy the episode and you are enjoying the series, please consider hitting that like button, sharing with a friend or two, or on your favorite social media. And I really hope to see all of you next time. Goodbye. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you'll hit the subscribe button there on the right and check out some other videos here on the left.